She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not? It's time to ditch the daisies and focus on the true signs a girl likes you. If that doesn't work, we suggest leaving the innocent flowers alone and thank you. Next. Number one, she mirrors your behavior, often subconsciously. Psychologists have studied the behavior of mirroring for a long time, and it's evident when people conversing seem to have similar movements. It could be as obvious as frowning when the other person is frowning, or as subtle as a vocal pitch. When a girl mirrors you, it means she trusts you, she feels connected, and it implies you have a lot in common. Psychology Today reported that mimicry and mirroring, like much of nonverbal communication, often occur subconsciously. However, if you're wise to this mirroring behavior, you could get a good idea if she's into you or not. Number 2. Her body language is screaming, I like you. Former FBI hostage negotiator Christopher Voss says, Body language and tone of voice, not words, are our most powerful assessment tools. IndiaTimes.com gives several psychological facts that show someone either likes or dislikes you. If someone fixes their appearance in front of another, it's a sign they like you. If someone leans into you while you're talking to them, they like you. Standing with the body entirely open in front of another is a sign they are comfortable and, you guessed it, like you. Adversely, things like crossing the arms and legs generally mean the opposite. Being distracted, checking their phone, staring into the distance, these are all not good signs either. And if you need guidance or help in other areas, Aluxers, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That's what we're here for. Number 3. Look out and listen for the friend assist. A girl's friends are usually a good indication of whether the girl is into you or not, reason being that these friends have nothing to lose by telling you yay or nay. But perhaps they're a bit more discreet than that, so here's what you have to look out for. Hints and name dropping. For example, you could be chatting to the friends about your favorite food, and you say, my favorite food is sushi. Friends would reply with, oh my word, that's so funny because, insert girl's name here, also loves sushi. Right, so you see where we're going with this one. Or you bump into the friends. Isn't it funny you randomly mention to one of the friends where you'll be hanging out and then you bump into them at the exact place? Coincidence? We think not. And truthfully, if she didn't like you, you wouldn't be seeing any of her friends or hearing her name dropped in any conversation. It wouldn't even be a thing to ponder on. Number 4. Mutual Eye Contact Aluxers, there's a fine line between too much eye contact and too little eye contact. Too much eye contact and you're downright creepy. Too little and you must be hiding something. Sure, some of these ideas are stereotypical, but even Forbes.com reiterates certain undeniable facts about eye contact. Eye contact produces a powerful subconscious sense of connection that extends to even drawn or photographed eyes. We reduce eye contact when we're talking about something shameful or embarrassing, and we increase eye contact when dealing with people we like, admire, or have power over us. With this in mind, as long as the girl that's interested in you is not a creeper, the eye contact can only mean one thing. Number 5. She seems more nervous than usual. When you like someone, stringing a sentence together is like a challenge. It feels like your tongue is swollen up inside your mouth and it doesn't want to work the way it's supposed to. And when you manage to spit something out, it comes out a garbled mess. You want it to say, did you hear that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were having another baby? And instead you said, Prince Markle and Harry, I want to have your baby. It happens to the best of us. Look out for signs of nervousness. She might be out of breath, slightly glistening, aka sweating, yawning a lot, or just general restlessness. Don't be put off. That's not her usual style. She just likes you a lot. Number 6. She plays games. Now, hear us out. We're not talking about games that will hurt someone or take the piss. We're leaning toward a bit more mental stimulation, a bit of cat and mouse, just to ignite the interest and get the ball rolling. 
We can say we're not interested in playing games, but honestly, there is a thrill in the chase. And yes, there are people who keep chasing, but the trick and challenge is to keep that thrill alive within the relationship. There are plenty of other reasons why your relationships may not work out and we strongly suggest you watch our video, 15 Reasons Why Your Relationship Sucks, to try and avoid all the drama. Number 7. She encourages you to share with her. When was the last time someone genuinely wanted to know everything about you? No girl is going to want to indulge in any major conversation with you unless they want to. But when you're being asked about your childhood home, your granny's homemade mayonnaise and what your favorite toy was as a child, you can bet there's more to it than just curiosity. And in years to come, if it gets to that point, you can be sure that she'll remember your story about your childhood home, your late granny's homemade mayonnaise, and she probably bought you a replica of your favorite childhood toy. Number 8. Listen to her conversation. Aluxers, while you're busy divulging all the deets about yourself, she'll no doubt ask if you're dating someone. We promise she's not asking you to be polite. Au contraire, she's fishing to see if you're available. Now is not the time to play cat and mouse or have your bread buttered on both sides. If you're not available, let her know right away. It's the right thing to do and as flattering as it is, it's not fair to string anyone along. Number 9. She's present. When we like someone, we want to be with them. We don't want to be distracted by our phones or anything for that matter. Girls will go out of their way to make themselves available for you, cancel plans, rearrange things, and will inconvenience themselves to ensure they can accommodate you. Appreciate the effort that goes into that planning and be assured there are feelings involved. PositivePsychology.com states, Gratitude seems to strengthen relationships and contribute to relationship connection and satisfaction. Number 10. Touching, blushing, blinking, laughing at your jokes. Aluxers, we can never discount the obvious signs like physical touch, rosy cheeks, excessive blinking, and then of course, the fact you've suddenly become a comedian. Who knew you were that funny? But do ensure you know the difference between being super friendly and genuine flirting, because it could be pretty embarrassing when you're already in the friend category without being aware of it. If the attention is a little more than you'd get from your friends, then it's probably safe to say you're good to go, but take it slowly, just in case you're off base and then the rejection won't sting quite as much. Number 11. She needs your help. Girls might adopt the age-old technique of playing the damsel in distress card when they want to let you know you're special to them. Most 21st century women are pretty capable of handling things on their own-ish, so if a woman reaches out to ask for your help, it can be a sign she wants it more than she needs it. It's her way of making you feel useful and letting you know that you're important enough to be asked for help. Number 12 barriers, both mental and emotional, are gone. If a girl likes you, she'll share with you when she had a bad day, if her cat died, or if she's really happy about something. The freedom to share is a good sign that she's lowered her barriers and has her sights set on you. Number 13. You could just ask her. One surefire way to know if she's into you is to cut all the detective work and just straight up ask her. Even if she wasn't sure yet, your confidence and take charge attitude might just be the thing that helps her decide. Nothing is sexier than a take charge attitude. Not only would you break the ice and move things forward, you would also cut out a bunch of the back and forth uncertainty that would save you both some insecurity. The worst that could happen is she isn't into you and then you know, and you can move on with the freedom of knowing you aren't missing out on a match. Number 14. Watch out for hemophilia. Hemophilia is what it sounds like. It's the term given to people who fall in love often, easily, and really quickly. The old love at first sight moment, except with hemophilians, this moment happens all the time. While we want someone to like us, we don't want them to like us just because of a knee-jerk reaction they can't control. If the same girl has had a crush on everyone in your group of friends over less than a six-month period, you might want to tread carefully and test if it's genuine or just infatuation. Number 15. She uses psychological-based mind tricks. 
The truth is that if a girl likes you, more likely than not, you will know it. But if you're still not sure, there are some common mind tricks people will use when they want to give you the hint that they like you. The first thing is using your name a lot. It's a well-known fact that everyone's favorite word is their own name. We all get a little dopamine hit every time we hear our name spoken by a person we like. So if you find her name dropping your name more into sentences than strictly necessary, then she might be dropping you hints. Another common way someone shows you they like you is by finding ways to show or tell you they have similar values to you, or perhaps she makes sure she compliments you whenever she can. Hey Luxers, we would love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know what signs you believe show that a girl likes you. And of course, you stuck with us until the end. Here's your bonus. Even if you don't get a ton of time in the physical presence of your crush, you can keep an eye on the digital hints she leaves for you. Perhaps she likes a lot of your posts or is keeping a keen eye on your stories. On some social platforms, if you aren't friends but they've searched you out and creeped around your profile, then she might be recommended to you as a friend, so you'll know that someone has sussed you out online. Happy dating, Aluxers!